Some silly pranksters are fooling fast food workers into trashing their own businesses all across the country. Uh, either it's the same person or numerous people who are calling fast food restaurants, like a Jack in the Box, for example, uh, pretending to be the fire department, and then telling them that there's a gas leak. And to avoid an explosion, they need to smash out all of their windows immediately. And so they do. And then they do. How many times has this happened? This has happened more than once uh, in, in different states. For example, California, OK? They, they caused like $35,000 in damages. The manager went as far, didn't only smash out all of the windows immediately, went as far as ramming his truck into the restaurant to smash all the doors and everything. If, the, if your place was full of gas and you did that, that might actually Maybe cause not the best idea. Yeah, right. he did it. That was instincts. He was the shift manager. He just did his oh, thing. Okay. He was saving his restaurant. Uh, you know, this this is more than a prank. I think inciting this level of damage that's that's yeah. a crime. Yeah, it is, and and impersonating a, a fireman. Yes, uh, but because yeah. the fire department doesn't often just call you and say, "Hey, buddy, you got a gas." It's like, that's, kind that's of very rare. It, it's kind of funny if they're being some sort of. Uh, eco-terrorist or something like this, uh, but is there a point behind what they're doing? To sit back and, and laugh and say, ha ha, I just got somebody to stop what they're doing, smash out all of their windows, destroy their own property just from a phone call that probably lasted a few seconds. What more do you have to say other than there's a gas leak, there's an explosion? It also happened in a Wendy's in Phoenix too. It's nuts. So it's, yeah. I, I don't want to laugh at it. It's 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 no. sort of funny on the surface, but it's yeah. not funny. And and seldom will I you know feel sympathy for you know these huge fast food chains. But we have to remember, you know, a lot of these are little not mom and pop. But these are like franchises yeah. that are owned by people. And not to mention, you're scaring the crap out of a lot of people. This is serious. Right? And there's people that work there that rely on on that for their pay if right. they have to take days off or whatever. So you're you're harming the people that work there as well. I don't get the point of it, though, other than they just get I just a laugh out it. of it. You, you get a laugh at it, and you get everyone to smash out their windows. Maybe this person has a personal beef with these restaurants. Ah, uh, he's got beef. I get it. I didn't even mean uh, to do that. But they don't know who it is. They it's have to be able to tra trace the call. I'm sure they will. I mean, come on. And do you think they're going to have to pay for it themselves? I mean, these franchise owners? Or maybe Burger King, a major corporation, for example, will help them out? They well, should. There, there may be an insurance claim, but... but in the, in the era of total surveillance, I can't believe that they wouldn't be able to trace the call. Yeah, uh, that's, that's a very good point. I mean, I hope they catch them because this isn't funny. I mean, there's a prank and then there's the yelling bomb on an airplane. You just don't do it. And, and this, just, this is just as bad, but causing thousands of dollars in damages.